On Zanzi, CCTV footage capturing the moment notorious murderer and uh, arapist Tabo Besta made a daring escape from the confines of Mangaung Prison in Bloemfontein has recently emerged, leaving viewers astounded. The visual evidence was unveiled by the esteemed journalist Anika Larson, renowned for her captivating presence on the widely acclaimed show My Guests Tonight with Anika Larson, which airs on ETV. Known for her knack for unraveling the truth, Larson has once again delivered an intriguing revelation. Until now, the public in South Africa had only uh, been informed of Tabo Besta's daring departure from the seemingly impenetrable walls of Mangawung Correctional Center without any solid visual proof for, to support rather these claims. The absence of evidence had led to rampant speculation among the public, pondering over the means by which Tabo Besta managed to escape from the heavily fortified correctional facility. However, in a tantalizing teaser for an upcoming episode of My Guest Tonight with Annika Larson, Larson treated Twitter users to an exclusive sneak peek of Tabo Bester's escape. The footage reveals two figures swiftly dashing out of the correctional facility, uh, disappearing into the cover of darkness, leaving no trace behind. A week ago, the Bloemfontein Magistrate Court heard that Tabo Bester was provided with a G4S uniform as a disguise to aid in his escape. The CCTV footage released by Annika Lawson on her official Twitter account corroborates this information as the two individuals in the video are dressed similarly. Tabo Besta has finally put an end to the ongoing debate about his numerous aliases by receiving an official South African identity document card from the Department of Home Affairs. According to Sunday World, a representative from the Home Affairs Department paid a visit to the Hosi Mampu Recreational Center last week to personally deliver Besta's long-awaited South African ID. During a recent parliamentary session, Home Affairs Minister Dr. Aaron Motsoledi revealed that the police had conducted a DNA test on on Besta and the woman who claimed to be his mother, with the results showing a staggering 99% match. Chris Harney, Parakwanath Hospital, further confirmed that Besta was indeed born there in 1986, putting all doubts to rest. Now, there you have it, Mzansi. Do leave your thoughts about this in the comments section. You know, I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot. Jaws, the way you like it.